grant this petition improving access to drinking and technical water in Donbas. Our speakers are Anna Tvitkova, coordinator of the water supply program in Chiomama 2086, uh, Akhtem Dekteruk, program director of charity um, Andra Ukraine, Mark Bartle, coordinator of the water supply cluster at uh, uh, UNICEF. I give the floor to Anna Tvitkova. Thank you. Good afternoon. Ten days ago, at the website of the president, electronic petition was placed. This was an address to the president to pay attention and to guarantee the right for water and sanitary to all Ukrainians uh, with a focus on provision of uh, drinking water to those who suffered in the result of military con uh, conflict in Donbas. Our organization, our Ukrainian NGO, Mama86, uh, uh, is one of the organizations that initiated the process of creation of petition. And yesterday, a campaign was launched in social media to support and collect the signatures uh, to this petition to the president to provide equal access to water and sanitary to all people in Ukraine. Among these organizations, there are seven organizations. These are international and Ukrainian organizations that for five years were dealing with this issue to provide humanitarian ass assistance in water supply, drinking water supply and sanitary and provision of hygienic means for population that suffered in the result of conflict, IDPs, children and women in the east of Ukraine. Our organization in 2014, 2016, it dealt with the issues to provide hygienic means to children and women in the east, in Lugansk, Lysychansk, to IDPs in Kharkiv. And today, this issue of promotion of hygiene, it is impossible without access to water. And uh, uh, this activity becomes inefficient in this way. And many people now are suffering, and uh, they are each day in the risk situation because they can lose the access to water, not to say uh, the access to clean water. And this figure is 3.6 million of people. Our organization is dealing with the issues of access to water and sanitary in Ukraine. And even before the war, these issues were not resolved. The issue of equal access to water, uh, more than uh, 950,000 people in Ukraine uh, suffered from the lack of water. And now uh, 3.6 people, uh, 3.6 million people um, have, do not have proper access to water or in the risk of losing the access. And uh, there are vulnerable categories of people such as children. And according to UNICEF data, as of today, in the controlled territories, and 1,600 schools work in the area, and the same number of schools work in uh, non-controlled areas. And there is issue of access to clean water, um, the access for kindergartens, for schools, because the children suffer the most from the risks connected with the disruption of proper water supply. In one region, in Popasnyansky region, we know that there 19 schools work, and this is gray area. 19 schools and kindergartens. Um, there are many children in these institutions, and they depend on water that is brought there. Uh, 57 bottles of water. Um, are supplied to these schools, but this is humanitarian help. 
and this is a short-term solution of the problem. The issue of uh, uh, bringing the water and uh, the sanitary situation in Donbas, they need uh, government uh, attention and the attention of the president. And uh, um, this should be systemic change uh, and programs to support uh, the uh, right uh, for uh, clear water in these regions and uh, the work should be properly co coordinated because humanitarian work is reduced each year and there is a great issue um, at local level where to find the money in order to resolve issues of access to sanitary and clean water. I would like to give the floor to my colleague Artyom from uh, ADRA NGO. Thank you. Well, I would like to start by uh, giving uh, you the greetings of uh, the uh, residents of our uh, area, and uh, as they uh, are deprived of this access to portable water, uh, it's they uh, suffer. Uh, the consequences of the lack of this uh, access. Uh, here in Kiev, uh, we uh, understand that we need to lobby these issues to inform the donors, uh, uh, the uh, uh, actors and stakeholders uh, who can uh, uh, make their contribution to uh, resolving this uh, problem. Uh, we need to inform uh, them about the needs uh, that exist in the area. And uh, we have today uh, this unique uh, opportunity to uh, spread this information, to disseminate this information, uh, inform you about uh, these problems and uh, suffering. For example, uh, not far from Marinka, there is a village. Uh, Marinka is well known uh, due to uh, permanent coverage uh, in the media. There have been, they have had uh, no problems with access to water in the last uh, 25 years. But now uh, they have to transport uh, uh, portable water from uh, adjacent areas, and uh, uh, they use uh, they have to use the carts for transporting the tanks of uh, uh, water, and uh, because uh, of uh, this of these uh, hostilities in the area, uh, uh, the opportunities for water transportation uh, have uh, uh, been reduced. The situation has uh, grown uh, more and more complicated uh, recently, and uh, therefore we address uh, the uh, Ukrainian organizations that, in our uh, opinion, could uh, contribute in uh, helping uh, with uh, uh, new pipelines, water pipelines, the distribution of uh, uh, packages of hygienic products and uh, the water tracking, what we call uh, the water tracking, uh, the distribution of water to the remote areas, uh, the villages that uh, are uh, 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 far away uh, from uh, the large uh, townships. Therefore, uh, as uh, was already mentioned, uh, the elderly especially, they do not have any Instagram uh, or Facebook access, and uh, they can simply not inform the, the uh, uh, public at large about uh, their problems. And uh, uh, therefore, we are very grateful to our partners, to UNICEF uh, and uh, the others who, who provide some supplies uh, to them, including the water, uh, for example, uh, by automobiles, by, by uh, lorries, and uh, for me, as uh, for a Ukrainian citizen, uh, uh, there is. Uh, I always ask. Uh, I've always asked myself a question: uh, Why uh, do foreign representatives visit uh, these areas, and they are concerned with uh, this problem of the lack of access to water, but no uh, government officials? Uh, therefore. Uh, uh, when I uh, discussed that problem with uh, a representative of one of the NGOs, uh, he said that you need to act now. If uh, not now, then when? Uh, let me now turn the floor over to uh, Mr. Butler, Mark Butler, who is uh, the coordinator of uh, the uh, cluster, supply cluster of, uh, uh, at WASH of UNICEF. Uh, we would all agree that, that you know, water is, is life. Without water, what can we do? And 
I'm reminded of this uh, today in Kiev because, you know, without water, we cannot switch on the heating system for the city. And this is the same in all areas of, of Ukraine. Um, however, in the east of Ukraine, there have been some problems and the United Nations is aware of these. And unfortunately, uh, we're aware that uh, water supplies have been affected by the conflict, which started in 2014. And also that it means some water infrastructure has been unfortunately damaged by that conflict. And in fact, people on both sides of the conflict have had water stoppages. This really affects some people. For example, just imagine an older person in the middle of winter when the water is cut and you have to try to walk more than two kilometers through the snow with a 60 liters container just to get water. That is a real hardship. Also, sadly, some of the workers in the area have been uh, injured. Sadly, nine workers from one of the largest Ukrainian water companies, Vododombasa, have lost their lives uh, while doing their job uh, in the conflict. And only yesterday, uh, there was a tragedy near Turetsk where two workers were injured just doing their job. And it's a miracle that the rest of the workers continued their work and actually managed to fix that pipeline so that water should hopefully arrive in Tourette's city very soon. Uh, these people are heroes and uh, we salute them for, for doing a wonderful job. The WASH cluster uh, really supports this initiative by the non-governmental organizations uh, working in Ukraine. Um, and we're glad to see that this is making use of the petition facility on the president's own website. Um, we hope that the message is considered uh, very carefully so that everyone has access to clean water and also therefore heating this winter. We really urge everyone to focus on this issue and we hope that people will consider signing the petition which is now online. The asks are very simple. Firstly, we want to make sure that the water pumps and pipelines can be protected against damage. Secondly, we would like to make sure that the safety and security of all the workers in the area working on essential water pipes and fixing things and just doing their jobs, that they're guaranteed safety. And lastly, and to be simple, that all measures should be taken to make sure that water and adequate sanitation can be continued in the area of the conflict and throughout Ukraine. Thanks. Well, that's the main problem that we discuss, uh, we are discussing uh, now and uh, speaking about that petition that uh, we addressed uh, to the presidency. We hope that uh, it, uh, the number of signatories uh, will uh, reach 25,000. And uh, after that, uh, both the presidency and uh, the uh, MPs uh, 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 start uh, reacting uh, to this and uh, they, uh, their efforts uh, would contribute to the restoration of this uh, right to access uh, to portable water. Uh, we call on all uh, Ukrainian citizens uh, to join in uh, this petition to sign it, which uh, this petition is already in uh, on the president's website, uh, on the website of the presidency. And uh, we uh, uh, earlier, uh, uh, some time ago, uh, we uh, uh, released a video uh, clip uh, that uh, informs the public about this problem. So we hope uh, that the attention towards these very basic needs uh, uh, of uh, the uh, people of uh, the Donbass uh, would uh, provide a foundation for uh, a more thorough, more serious uh, review of uh, this, uh, of the compliance with this right uh, to uh, of access to a portable uh, water, uh, not only in the Donbass but all over Ukraine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, uh, you are. Uh, uh, welcome to ask them. Uh, if there is no questions, uh, then uh, we uh, will stay in touch and uh, uh, thank you for your attention.